<laughs> Slight stretch on a 35. Um, on a 12, uh, 12 wide wheel. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is the crazy, crazy day. It's hot, I'm sweaty, been in and out. Loading up the truck with a bunch of stuff because today is the day the truck is gonna change completely again. Uh, from stock to lift, it was a huge, huge jump. From chrome to no chrome is gonna be even more crazy, crazy jump. Uh, we got the grill all set up here. We got the paint there. We got a few surprises along the way. Uh, stuff you didn't see right here. I got my headlights in, they came in, and I got my front grill emblem also in all factory Mopar parts. But yes, today is the day this truck is going to transform once again, and it's going to be crazy. So we're heading over to my buddy Julio's house right now, and we are going to paint uh, the bumpers, the grill, the most annoying part of the truck, the under bezel of the headlights. They're called bumper covers or spacer. I don't know why I forget what the exact term of it is. We're painting the black under the headlights um, and both bumpers. So the truck is gonna look crazy. While it's apart, we're putting the new headlights on and um, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna change the whole look of the truck and really make this thing one of a kind. All right, guys, look at this. The truck is loaded up. Headlights there, and there's a few extra boxes back there. Those are surprises you'll see as the build uh, and the painting goes on. You'll see exactly what the extra boxes are for. Uh, it's kind of neat. A little something while everything's apart. Uh, it'll be easier to do this, so you'll see that's a surprise. But we are loaded up. Uh, we're going to make one stop and then head over to Julio's house. And we're gonna get this painting underway. This is so, so, so exciting. Uh, I am so excited because this is gonna change the look of the truck. Make this pretty much one of a kind because you know the lift, the wheels, the tires, that setup, uh, and the headlights and everything I'm doing to it. Uh, it's gonna make it one of a kind. And down, you know, as you know, the weeks and you know the month of July goes on. Like I said, I'm trying to get a whole bunch of stuff down done before August 1st. So. You know, it's gonna make it even more one of a kind as the month goes on. You'll see a few other things. Uh, definitely ordering the tune delete and uh, exhaust this weekend. That is no brainer. I need to get that ordered. So I'm gonna order that up this weekend. Uh, and maybe, maybe uh, we'll see what we'll do with the tail lights. But like I said, guys, we're gonna head out and uh, get this underway. This is probably gonna take a day and a half or so uh, with drying time, so this is gonna be awesome. It is hot, I am sweating in here, dripping, uh, but let's go. This is like, super exciting. I hope you guys are super and excited as me. Some of you guys like the chrome. I'm sorry. Uh, I want the sport appearance package on a truck. You cannot order it on, so I have to do it myself, so that's exactly what I'm doing, and um, here we go. Okay, so we got the whole front end apart. No grill, bumper is gone as well. And then down here, <clears throat> in the back, there is no more bumper either. All set up in here, we test scuffed this one. As you can see, this is how it starts, and this is how it's gonna look. We're really gonna scuff it up so the paint lays on there well. Pretty much gonna take these plastics off. Uh, both, bumper, both bumpers take the sensors out uh, so we can start sanding and start painting. We got all the stuff masked off, got the tape, got all, all the sensors off, the plastic off, um, everything so it's just the bumper. Um, here's the front, um, like I said we test scuffed it before, we're going to really sand this down, get it really scuffed in a second here. but. 
This is the last time you're going to see this bumper this shiny because uh, we're about to scuff it. Um, that's all masked. We're uh, working on the back one right now. As you can see how shiny this is. It's actually kind of... I've never seen it this shiny, but this is great. Got all the sensors and stuff. It's gonna suck is remembering this at the end, but we got all the sensors uh, taken out up here. Everything's gonna be green, everything's gonna be color matched. Just take some time. We also gotta get that plastic piece off because we need that to be painted as well. Look at this guy, it's crazy. So the back bumper here is pretty much all scuffed. You saw how uh, shiny it was before. It is scuffed up pretty, pretty, pretty well. Um, as you can see, how much is coming off. You can't see the dust come off chrome for some reason, but then, you know, I, after a while I looked at my hand, I was like, that's probably not good. I put, you know, put the mask on for the last little bit of this bumper here, but we might be laying some paint tonight. That would be um, the goal. We're making progress here. These bumpers are going to be painted here very, very soon. Alright guys, it's like 3 a.m. I am so tired. I mean, we've been scuffing, grinding, sanding, priming, painting, filming, all this stuff. Uh, taking the front end of the truck apart. This bumper is primed and a little bit wet sanded, but we're going to hit it in the morning. This grill looks like it's ready for paint, but I still think I want to wet sand it, even though it, there's no imperfections. And we should be ready. You know, we should be ready to hit these things with paint in the morning. We're going to get back at it in the morning because it's 3 a.m. We're both extremely, extremely tired. I can smell it. It's like lacquer. So it has acetone. Ooh. It smells like non It Looks like them too. It's like going on 6 a.m. and we actually didn't even sleep, but we're still going. Uh, mixing the paint here. About to shoot all these bumpers and the grill. All right, so considering we already have all the paint and stuff set up, um, there we got the mix it mix inside. But I'm gonna take the uh, just the court here, and um, with you know the truck and these wide tires, I do have a couple rock chips. I found three due to the tires in one. I don't know how it hit my hood with the truck being so tall, but <clears throat> one, here is two. Oh, yep, here's three, so four. Pretty much, we're just gonna fill them in. Look at that sunrise. We're st still awake, still going. We're gonna fill these in.
Guys, this stuff looks incredible. You probably can't hear me right now. Yeah, it stinks. Fair warning, yeah. Julio, he, he knows he's supposed to wear a mask. It's sitting over there. And he just says, I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. So before you guys you know, hate on him in the comments, yes, he knows. But guys, this stuff looks incredible. I'm so excited. I can't wait to, I can't wait to hit it with the clear. Sensor's all painted. Uh, we just do one coat on these so the distance isn't affected. And then we're going to hit these bumpers with two more coats. Are you listening? Alright guys, literally just, you know, the truck is all finished up. I'm sitting in it right now. I drove home finally. It's 12.13 uh, a.m. on Sunday morning. I got to Julio's Friday at 7 p.m. and I have not slept in this amount of time. And um, yeah, uh, if I got out there and showed you the truck right now, you wouldn't get the full effect because uh, it's dark outside. So I just want to show you guys that, you know, yes, it did take a lot of time. It's a lot of work, but you know, the result is amazing let me know in the comments below what you guys think and um i think it looks pretty sweet all right guys are you ready to see the final product i'm looking at it right now and by the look on my face you guys can see that this truck looks amazing um i just want to say thank you guys for watching up front here i want to say thank you to julio for helping me out with this um you know by the end of the night we had a good you know teamwork down with uh you know between painting buffing sanding uh, all that stuff uh, and we knocked it out probably as fast as we possibly could um, we had to repaint the rear bumper because a mosquito landed in it and started swarming around and left black marks everywhere other than that guys I want to say thank you guys for watching when you see this truck if you think it's bad um, mean and looks good shoot this video a thumbs up and if you haven't been here before please please click subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video I'm gonna leave you with this montage thank you guys for watching peace